Coco Bowden here again. And, you know, I just got up. I had to rest a little bit after doing that cleaning. Because it was quite a lot of stuff. But now I'm moving on to something else tonight. Thinking about dinner. What am I going to have for dinner? You know, I haven't been to the store since, but two times in three months to the grocery store. And that was for Thanksgiving and Christmas. The situation with my ride is beginning to really piss me off because I also need not only food, but I need more bandages and saline wash and a whole lot of other stuff that, you know, I just can't get. I just can't get right now without, you know, getting a ride. And every time I'm asking people for a ride, you know, it's always something. So I know that I'm hungry and I got to find something to put together in this house that I can eat that will sustain me. And I'm feeling kind of shaky. So my sugar levels may be down because I haven't ate since this morning. So welcome to... <laughs> My plus size grandma drastic life. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, it is something all the time. And I'm just like, you know, I fix one thing and then another thing goes down. Like, for instance, I went and I fixed, I had my heat fixed this month, which took, you know, quite a a lot of money to get fixed and then I paid to get my car fixed this month which again it took a lot of money to get fixed and the thing that happened was after I paid to get the car fixed it's still not running right I gotta get the catalytic converter however you say it and I gotta get the I gotta have the what is that thing called in my heat, I don't know what's going on with my heat. It was like working fine, and then all of a sudden it went off. But the thing that got to me just now was somebody called. Somebody called and said, hey, how you doing? Come on down and get something to eat. And I'm like, what? What? Like, what are you thinking? I am here. I don't have no kind of ride. How do you expect me to come get some food? Yes, I'm hungry. But I don't have a ride to go get food. And, you know, that's the thing that triggered me off right there was to get that call. And I said, well, I don't have a ride. And this person got a ride. And they wanted me to have the food. Not mentioned they're not far away. In other words, they wanted me to have the food. But they just wasn't willing to bring it to me. So once again, I'm standing back at this door, looking at this car. What am I gonna do about fixing this car? I gotta work harder. Work harder and, um, well not work harder, but I just gotta get more income coming in. Right now it's just too hard. Right now, the income isn't there where I can, you know, I'm already working long hours and still not able to make these ends meet. So, there's nothing really I can do about it right now. But I refuse to settle or fall down. I refuse to give up. I know God got me. I know he got me. Even though I'm mad about the situation, I know he got me. Walk into my other room. I know he got me. And I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it regardless. It's just that you don't focus on things like that until somebody brings it up. You know what I'm saying? Who that walk? It's like when they bring it up, that's when you really start focusing on it. But I'm not trying to focus on it at all. I'm just trying to survive. What I want right now, God has given me. He has given me 
my health, my strength. He's given me my portions, even my portion of food today. Even if I don't go eat nothing but a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, I'm still blessed because there's somebody somewhere that's less fortunate than me that can't even have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I'm not going to complain. But I just don't like it when people call and know my situation and then they rub it in like I can just get up and come because they say come. And they have a ride and won't bring nothing to me. So, you know, I'm just I'm just learning as I go. I'm learning not to let my frustrations get the best of me. I won't let this situation get the best of me today, tomorrow, or the next day. Or any time in my future. If there's one thing I can do that I know that is for sure and true, that is call on the name of Jesus. That's what I know. That's the one who I know will send somebody through or something. That's all I can do at this point. All I can do is get ready to go fix this sandwich and enjoy it. Enjoy it just the way it is. I think I do got a bag of chips in the refrigerator though. But to not see a grocery store or even the post office. I haven't been in the post office in three months since my car originally broke down. I haven't been in the post office that long. And yes, it hurts me to my heart to know that I can't get the transportation that I need whenever I need it. And it hurts me to know that I have to be on somebody else's time. But that's the point, I guess, where you kind of humble down, but you don't be nobody's fool. So I'm humbled. I'm staying humble regardless of what. Regardless of what come my way, I'm going to remain humble and keep speaking good things in my life. That's all I can do. Speak good things in my life and continue to do my work for the Lord. And, you know, may the works I've done speak for me. And may every, every seed that I put out good, may it come back in abundance. A whole lot. So, yeah, I was kind of upset. But now that I did this broadcast and said it out loud, I feel a lot better. I feel like this is going to be the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich ever. <laughs> and I think I'm going to end up doing um, my gospel broadcast tonight. It's going to be the best sandwich ever, and I'm going to enjoy every moment of it, every moment of it. And I'm not going to worry. I'm, I'm just going to take it as people just don't know better. That's what I'm going to say. People just don't know better. If they knew better, they would do better. So I'm feeling good, and I'm going to continue to let my light shine and my day be good despite being pissed off. Well, I'm not as pissed off now as I was then. Something will come through. God will work something out. And I will get my heat back fixed and my car back running. And get some grocery in this house. Because I don't, at this point, I don't have anything but canned goods. And that's okay. And that's okay. I'm going to make it because I'm a fighter. I'm a survivor. I'm a faith builder. My faith is not going to waver in the moment of hungriness. It's not going to wait because I know God will come through. Yup. My grandma plus size life. Drastic measures. And in this case, my drastic measure is to just pray about it and take what I have and make it work. Make it work. 